what's up guys it's your boy grant back with another video uh appreciate all the love on my former videos i really do appreciate y'all and i um i do i genuinely enjoy doing this like i think it's i think it's fun like you know i don't view it as like content like i enjoy talking about this stuff and i appreciate y'all for tuning in so today back with another video on the topic of who is the best producer of all time right so when we think of the goat like you think of i think there's a lot of people in the running but i feel like my main three my main three picks are gonna be number one let's go ahead and say it i'm gonna go ahead with my personal goat uh I say 1A, 1B, but my personal GOAT, um, Mad Lib. Um, so the first reason why I said Mad Lib is, of course, how extensive his catalog is. Um, of course, uh, Pinata, Bandana, but also the, uh, the Medicine Show, man. That is probably the greatest producer series ever. Um, Shades of Blue. Uh, this nigga's not doing it like Mad Lib. His sample selection is off the charts. And of course, um, his chopping skills as well. Uh, favorite, you could take Mad Lib's throwaways and they couldn't even hang with a, they couldn't even hang with like, uh, with some producers, respectfully. Uh, so the second pick I'll pick is, um, Jay Dilla. Uh, of course, I think he's the technical goat. Um, I think what ha he has in his favor is being a part of having such, so, so many great, uh, iconic producer albums and beats. Um, and of course, sample selection, uh, skills. Um, let's see what else here. I also want to say the, um, like donuts, like donuts is probably like the most popular producer album, most iconic producer album ever. Uh, also, his work with Slum Village, and of course, uh, the All Star album that is B by Common as well, um, amongst other, amongst other beats and such. I think my third pick is gonna throw a lot of people off, but. I'm going to put DJ Premier in the ring, and here's why. People always tend to, you put other producers over DJ Premier in these all-time talks and have people leapfrog him, and I don't think that's fair. I don't know too many producers that have the amount of iconic instrumentals that DJ Premier has on top of being a part of two classic albums that he produced solely by himself with the Gangstar albums. Like, let's go down the list, man. We have, he has classic tracks with Biggie, which you could argue are his best tracks. Classic tracks with Biggie, Nas, Jay-Z. Um, who else, man? Who else? I'm, I'm thinking some, I'm thinking more, of course, a Guru with the Gangstar. But he has so many, so much classic stuff that you could argue that benefits his, uh, that benefits his case on top of some of his underground tapes as well. Sorry about that little, uh, pause break right there, but I'm back. Um, another hat I'm going to throw in the ring. And I think, well, I'm not going to say final, but because I'm thinking as a go here, a thing like that. Uh, I'm going to go with, let's see here, Kanye West here. Kanye West is arguably the, I mean, and there's no, I don't think there's even an argument. He is the most popular rap producer ever. Uh, of course, producing so much of his own albums gives him a case, but also his, the stuff he's produced for other people as well, and make, which is, which makes him so, like, 
which makes them so iconic. Like, for example, uh, Wouldn't Get Far or Couldn't Get Far. I'm not sure what the title of the song name is, but uh, by the game. Uh, that's one of my favorite Kanye beats ever. And it says so much that, like, he can kind of, that the ability to give your own beats to other artists and be in a song and be in the star of the show, on top of still producing your own albums at a high level, means a lot. It, it says a lot. And, like, he has such a he has such a strong case that I wouldn't even be mad if people said that he was a go. Personally speaking, um, I'm trying to think if if there's anybody else I'm really missing, because uh, this is a this is a pretty tough conversation. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. I said DJ Premier. I said Matt Lib. I said Dilla. I said Kanye West. I said I would argue. The Dungeon Family, as an entity, the only argument against them is lack of work for everybody else. Because I'm pretty sure nobody else can make what they were making in terms of creative, creativity with those outcast albums and things like that. But also, I have to include people to have work with other people as well. I think it's just it's just out of fairness. Like it's not like a bad. It's not like a, a slight to them. I just have to put that in that conversation. Um, but circling back to DJ Premier, like, he, he's one of the only people I could say, like, okay, this, this artist's best songs, or best group of songs, belong to this one producer. Like, I could say that for Nas, like, his best songs come when he has DJ Premier produce, produce them, or some of Biggie's best songs come from where DJ Premier produces them. It's a lot. There's so many. There's so many arguments you make with so many people, but I think the final one is, and I hate to include him because y'all know I kind of how I feel about him, um, Dr. Dre. And the reason why with Dr. Dre is that uh, how do I put this? He's such a great. Um, He's been such a part of so many classic albums that I can't count him out. And he's arguably also one of the greatest. He's he's one of the most popular or iconic producer of all time. And like you can't, no matter what, you can't discount uh, the Chronic or um, Doggy Style. Like those are two Chico albums. Like they really are. And then the final one I would put in. And this is my personal, one of my personal goats. And I feel like he gets lost in time. But also at the same time, like, I'm I'm so glad that so many more people appreciate him. Is DJ Quit. And one thing I want to slide in is that DJ Quit with, like, when I come, come when I call with Danny Boy. That is one of the greatest songs, R&B songs ever. Like straight up, like no, but there's no debate. And DJ quit having so much stuff. Like I'll I'll, I'll put it like this: what Dr. Dre was for the mainstream, I feel like DJ Quit was much more for like the people. He pretty much said, he came out and said basically like the industry. He he's always felt like he didn't get enough love, and I hate that. But at the same time. I appreciate you so much, and you are probably my favorite. You are you are my personal favorite rapper producer ever. That's not named Kanye West or Big Crit. But that's pretty much all I got for this episode, guys. I appreciate y'all. Um, tune in for the next episode so y'all can see what's. What next topic I do? I don't know. I kind of come up with these on the fly. Or if y'all just mention me and be and ask me what I want to do, or what should, what should I do? And I usually just do it. Like, like once again, I like talking about music. I I love talking about hip hop, maybe even R and B at one point. But I appreciate y'all. Love love y'all. Be easy.